Why is my car battery always draining? Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to talk about the seven things that can drain your car battery. As a dead car battery can be annoying, it can also be avoided. To help prevent a dead battery, you first have to know what causes one. So let's check out the seven things that could explain why your car battery keeps dying. First off, you may have left your headlights on. If your car battery keeps draining, the first thing to check are your headlights. Many newer vehicles have headlights designed to turn off after a certain amount of time, but if your car doesn't have this feature, your headlights may stay on until you either turn them off or until your car battery is completely drained. Second reason is something is causing a parasitic draw. Even while your car is off, your battery provides power to things like the clock, the radio, and the alarm system. These things shouldn't have a major impact on your battery. What may drain your car battery when it's off are things such as interior lights, door lights, or even a bad relay. While your engine runs, the alternator recharges the battery, which is why you typically don't have to worry about the battery dying while you're blasting the radio on your drive to work. But when the engine is off, the alternator can't recharge the battery, allowing little electrical mishaps to drain your battery entirely. The battery strain caused by these electrical whoopsies is known as parasitic draw. You can help avoid parasitic draws by turning every light and making sure that your trunk, glove box, and doors are fully closed and latched before leaving the car. Third reason is your battery connections are loose or corroded. The positive and negative terminals connected to your battery can sometimes jostle loose over time. These terminals may also become corroded. If your terminals become loose or corroded, you might have trouble starting the vehicle because your battery can't properly transmit its power. You could even stall out while driving or damage the vehicle's electrical components. Now you can help prevent corroded related problems by regularly cleaning your car battery's terminals. The fourth reason, it's extremely hot or cold outside. Freezing winter weather and hot summer days may cause problems for your vehicle's battery. Newer batteries tend to have more resistance to extreme seasonal temperatures, but if your battery is older, intense cold or heat could weaken its performance or even cause it to die completely. Now the fifth reason is the battery isn't charging while you drive. Your car relies on the battery when you fire up the engine. But, when your vehicle is running, your battery relies on the alternator to keep it charged. If your alternator isn't working correctly, it can't charge your battery effectively, which can make it hard to start your car even if you were just driving. If your car won't start after driving, there's a really good chance that your alternator is defective. The sixth reason is you're taking too many short drives. Cranking the engine takes a tremendous amount of power from your battery. But as mentioned previously, the alternator recharges the battery while the engine runs. If you're frequently going on short drives though, the alternator might not have enough time to properly recharge your battery between pit stops, especially if you have an older battery. In the long run, short trips can shorten your car battery's lifespan. And the seventh reason is your battery is just old. Nothing lasts forever, including your car's battery. Now, in some cases, your vehicle's battery could last up to five years, but that all depends on where you live and how you drive. Extreme temperatures, frequent short trips, and general everyday use could shorten your lifespan of your battery by years. So if your car battery dies quickly, even after a jump start, it might be time for a new one. There you have it, the seven things that can cause you some grief at the most inconvenient time which drains your car battery. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also please comment below as I reply to all, plus don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.